I'm Jeff Farrer, Chair of the Integrated Care Board for Bristol North Somerset and South Gloucester and we've just finished our board meeting for this month. It's been a busy agenda today, we've covered an awful lot of ground but some really, really good progress that we've made in the last 12 months. The first one around our digital strategy, it's really encouraging to see how we're coming together now as partners to bring in some solutions for dealing with things more digitally and that's going to make a transformational change in the way we deliver our services and I'm really encouraged by that. The second and really important is around our dental strategy. You will have seen a lot of this in the news recently. We've now had that delegated responsibility to integrated care systems and this is really today focus our attention on health inequality. There's no way in the future we're going to be able to deliver NHS dental care to everybody on the capacity that everybody wants. So we're going to have to prioritise our action. And the board were absolutely 100% together on this today, that we come together and look at our most vulnerable people. And I think you'll see a bit more of that going forward. It needs a bit more consultation, but you're going to see a big change of that as we progress. The third area I wanted to cover was our mental health strategy and this is a come together of all our partners from AWP, from local authorities in how we're going to treat our response to mental health. It is a fantastic example of how we've pulled together. What we talked about today was how we're now going to translate that strategy into action and that's the next steps of it but I'm really encouraged that it's got to a place where we have signed up to the way we treat uh, again our most vulnerable people. And then finally, what we introduced today at the board was our independent advisory group on race. Tracy Joliffe, who's our new chair there, talked to the board, and this is going to be a chance to hold up a mirror to our board to look at, at the highest level of leadership, what we're doing around race equality and fairness. I'm involved in lots of race equality issues across Bristol and the wider uh, patch. And we do a lot of work in that area, but rarely do we have people giving direct, critical, information back to our board and back to our most senior leaders and I think that's set to make a significant change. So I hope some of that was useful for you. Uh, I hope you can see we're starting to make some real significant progress in moving from competition to collaboration and I look forward to speaking to you all when I see you or in the next couple of weeks.